So today we'll take a look at a new commercial collection from JP Lab. As you can see, it's all about generating unique sequences. There's also a free collection you can experiment with, um, but this will be an overview video of the modules. But let me know in the comments if there is a module from this collection I should dedicate a whole video to and explore further. For now, let's start with Star Matrix. Okay, so the main idea of Star Matrix is to create and transition between so-called node blocks by either setting probability or number of cycles. Here I already have it connected to the FM operator, and I will start first by selecting a pool of nodes to work with, right? So in the right-click menu, I can choose node pool. From here, we can choose between different scales, or we can enter custom nodes and how much probability they will have when randomized, right? So for example, let's say I want C, the nodes C to have more probability, and then let's say a bit of G, right? And a bit of F, and now I can randomize the CVs or the nodes with repeats or without, let's say, without repeats. Right, and we can also randomize the rhythm. Right, and we get something interesting. So now the unique thing about uh, thing about the sequencer is that we can set probability to the direction of this sequence. So for example, if I hover with the mouse on this um, knob here or button, right, you can see this arrow that shows that it will jump from the first step to the fifth step in this case, right, and I can set probability just by adding Right, some percentages. And now there is a chance, right, that uh, step number one or block number one will jump to this block to number five, or it will jump to this one or to this one, right, and block number two can jump to block number six. Right, and this will go in the other direction as well. Right, as you can see, according to the arrows. Right, and like this we can add movement and variation. Right, let me mute this for a second. Have here another voice with the modern VCO from Surge. Right, you can see I have only five blocks active. Right, and now the star matrix has what's called planets that we can switch between and have different probability settings. Right, so I can either, if I zoom in a bit, I can either click the planets here and then it will switch between them. Right, and then I can choose or change the settings of the probability. Right, add or remove probability. Right, something like this. Right, and I can also move between them. Let me open the filter a bit more. I can also move between them. Right, or I can use the trigger inputs up or down, so in this case I have a divided by 8 clock that I'm going to use to trigger the planets, or the switching between the planets. Right, so you can have different settings for each of the planets and then either move between them or switch between them. Another interesting uh, feature of this sequencer is the block outputs. Right, from them we get gates according to the active block. So for example, I can use the first output to gate another envelope that I have here. Right, and then use this envelope to open the filter even further. Right, and this will happen only, just like now, when block 1 is active. 
right, and I can use this also to open a VCA over here, the stereo strip that will send a copy of this voice to a delay. The next sequencer I want to show you is Improv. We have a similar concept with the note pool and the note blocks, but here we can switch between note pools and even add a variation in length. In this case, I have palette as my voice and I will add a few notes to the note pool. In this case, it's here up. So let's go with C, uh, let's say G, B flat, C, and let's say F, right? And now I can select the next one, the pool number two, and then have different notes. So let's say F, B flat, and let's say F again and A. Right, so now we have two variations and we can switch between them. Right, of course, also here we can randomize the rhythm. So if I go to randomize, I can randomize the rhythm of all pools. Right? So now we have two different rhythms and two different node pools. Right, now we can use another module from this collection to switch, to make the switch between them. And this is the Navigator, right, it's another module in this collection. It has up to 16 um, steps, right, and each step we can divide and have a different length. So I have two steps basically, one with 16 and one with 8 steps, and they will switch between the sequences. So let's just reset everything, and now I can use the CV to switch between the two sequences or between the two pools. Right, and again, once one will be longer because it's divided by 16, the other will be shorter because it's divided just by eight. I have here down another voice. This is kick all from Bifako going through some chorus. Right, also here I will use the navigator to switch between the two pools, just so everything is running together. Right, and now something that can be quite interesting is adding length variation with the variation control, with the length variation, it's here down. Right, if I take it all the way up, for example, you can see things are starting to change. Right, how many and where they start, the note blocks. Right, we can make this even more interesting by taking the length, for now it's at eight blocks, but if I take it to one, it will be a bit more repetitive, but still with some variation. Right, I have here also a kick with a kick from BCV, just for fun, and a hi-hat, which I'm also, this is also from BCV, which I also sequence with the improv sequencer, Right, I use the pitch signal as a way to control the envelope of the Hyatt, just because it says pitch or volt per octave. Doesn't mean we can not use it for other things like envelope or decay. Right, so higher notes will result in open hats, lower notes will close the Hyatt. Another thing we can do is we can use MIDI to enter notes and their weight and their probability. Right, so I have here uh, the MIDI to CV module set with polyphony of eight notes. Right, I have gate and pitch and the velocity goes to the weight, so the harder I hit the note, the more probability it will have to be selected. And like this I can add and remove notes. I will just add here a bass. Right, and I'm going to do this with my MIDI keyboard. So now if I enter, for example, C, right, C was selected, and G, right, 
right? And like this, I can select notes and remove them if I hit them again and select other notes. And like this, improvise. So now let's have a look at four track. We have four rows that we can use in various ways. For now we have four individual rows, A, B, C, and D, right? Just like with other sequencers in this collection. Also here we have the note pool, right? So in this case, I'm just going to use the minor scale, right? And also here we can randomize the rhythms and the CVs. So I'm going to randomize the CVs and the rhythms. Right, so we have now four voices. In this case, it's with the FM operator. Four voices sequenced by the four rows. But if I right-click the tracks, right, we can choose a different settings. So for example, I can choose to have just two voices playing 16 blocks, so A, A, B, B. Right, so now we get only two voices playing 16 blocks instead of four voices playing eight. Right. This can be also quite useful for chords. Here I have another sequencer uh, sequencing the modern VCO. Right, again, for now we have it playing four different voices, A, B, C, and D. But if again I right click it and I choose chord, you can see the rhythms are now aligned, which gives us four note chords. Right now I can use this polyphonic signal to extract the bass voice, in this case with the bass module from Sively, sequencing the VCV VCO. So this will output the bass note. Right, so we have a melody, we have chords, we have a bass, and four track has also an expander that we can use to add even more note blocks. So in the right click menu, expanders, four track expander, and then we get 32 more blocks. In this case, I have just one sequence, just one voice. This is a key call from Befaco. Right, so instead of having 32 blocks, we have 64, so it's a much longer sequence. Expanders that come with this collection, actually two of them are a part of the free collection, Navi and Shift and Shuffle, and then Counterpoint is a part of this commercial collection. Here I have a sequence with the star matrix sequencing the VCV VCO. And I have two Counterpoint expanders. This expander will allow you to use the sequence you have, but to change it in various ways and use it as a variation to the sequence. So the first one I have here has retro on, so the note blocks will move backward. And there is also a delay of three note blocks, so it will play three note blocks um, away from the main sequence. This is sequencing the FM operator. Right, so you can hear it's related to the main sequence, but just a bit different as a counterpoint to the main sequence. The second one, the second counterpoint is also delayed. It's delayed by five note blocks and it's also inverted. So when the notes of the original sequence go up, the notes from this counterpoint will go down, vice versa. In the right click menu, by the way, you can choose if this uh, invert mode will be quantized or not. And in my case, it's sequencing another VCV VCO. 
right? So again, it's the same sequence, but different. Another expander is the shift and shuffle. This will allow you to move the sequence in various directions. Here I'm using it with improv and I use branches to randomly trigger the movement. Right, so sometimes it will shift it backwards, sometimes it will shuffle the columns, sometimes it will transpose the notes, all within the note pool. Right, and this is sequencing palette. The sound of this. Right, so you can see things are moving here. There is variation, there is movement. I have here also a simple bass. I have the modern VCO going through a filter. Let me unmute this. Right, and then I have here the free version of four track. This is three track, of course, you can experiment with it for free. This is with the Navi Expander, which is also available for free. This is a clock divider, but it has also probability. So sometimes it will divide by four, sometimes by five, sometimes by six. According to the settings, you have minimum settings and how much it will randomize. Right, and this is playing a chord with two FM operators. So lots of movement, lots of variation, interesting sequences, interesting rhythms. Right, and that's it. You can see how interesting and unique this collection is. I hope you will go and explore it. Don't forget you can experiment with the free version, see how you like it. Thank you for watching. Cheers.